If the reading on the gauge is significantly less than the expected pressure, this might indicate an airlock in the pump or even a closed valve in the suction line. Once the cargo pump is running, the suction pressure will drop slightly due to the effect of friction in the cargo pipeline as the cargo flows towards the pump. As the pump is running up to speed, it's essential that you closely monitor the suction pressure, the discharge pressure and the manifold pressure readings. You should also monitor the pump RPM, the cargo tank atmospheric pressures and the inert gas supply pressure and the level in the tanks open to cargo oil pumps and flow rate. For the tanks that are not being discharged, you should monitor the ullages to make sure they remain more or less stationary. It's also essential that you check for leaks, as these are always possible when running cargo pumps. If a leak does occur, it's most likely to occur at manifold connections, cargo pump mechanical seals, pressure gauges or pressure gauge sensors, and pipes that have been removed and replaced for maintenance.